Hey guys, my name is Danish and welcome back to my channel and today we are continuing on with the M1 Mac train and talk more about the M1 Mac's GPU for a moment here so without further ado let's just get started. So I kept thinking that I didn't do enough peace to the M1 Max and the M1 Pro GPU in the previous video so I just wanted to talk in depth about the graphics processors in these new Apple MacBooks with the ARM chips designed by Apple themselves and compare them to the competition with the dedicated external hardware for the desktop community as well as integrated laptop graphics cards. So where should I start? So I'll just give the recap of the performance metrics and the testing that we are using here is the GFX bench using the Aztec benchmark at 1440p. So why we choose 1440p or 4K is at 1080p it is more CPU intensive than GPU intensive load so you will not get an accurate image of the performance of the gpu so that is why we go for either 1440p or 4k 1440p is a good enough benchmark to show the range of all the devices that we are going to compare over here so as a recap the m1 the original m1 which is there in the m1 mini and the macbook air got a score of 77.7 the m1 pro which is there in the 14 inch macbook pro and the 16 inch macbook pro gets a 165.8 points and the m1 max which is there only in the 16 inch macbook pro and top of the line system gets 309.3 points so in the previous video i compared this with two other devices that namely was the 3060 ti which is my desktop class card with three fans and a huge cooler it gave 311.2 points and the 3080 mobile which is a mobile graphics card for a laptop which gave 297.8 points now why are these points important when i'm comparing the 3080 mobile with the m1 max is i'll come to that point in late bit while I compare all the other devices that I've been comparing over here so the most common GPU that you can find in a laptop which has a dedicated graphics card is the GTX 1650 1650 Ti or the 1660 lineup so the 1650 mobile got anywhere between 67 and 86.2 points so see this varies with the amount of configuration that is there on the different laptops from all the different manufacturers because they have different processors different amount of RAM different RAM frequency different cooling so it scores a range between 67.2 and 86.2 so this is somewhere in the same range as the M1 which cost nearly the same because the 1650 mobile in the cheapest device that I could find was the Lenovo 5i which is going for 68k and the Mac mini goes for 65k. Now coming on to the 1650 Ti which is the step up, upper brother it scored from 73.7 to 105 see that's a bigger jump and the cheapest one I could find was 68k at the HP pavilion laptop over there and the 3050 mobile which is the cheapest dedicated GPU that I could find on the Dell series laptops were the Dell, Dell G15 which is 75k and scored somewhere between 115 and 131 so this is coming more to more and more closer to the M1 Pro than the M1 base model but the M1 Pro costs a lot more frankly I understand because there's a lot more going on with the M1 Pro upgrades that are there other than just the m1 chip so i'll come to that in a bit and then we have the another desktop class card that my friend has which who i don't want to mock but i just want to say 1050 ti 73 points less than an m1 air yeah. or even the m1 mini damn son <laughs> okay so why are these points important because the prices are varying and the performance is varying and also the hardware is also varying so by what do i mean by all of this is if you are comparing the m1 to the 1650 the m1 looks like such a better deal and if you compare it to the 1650 ti which is more comparable closer to the m1 pro or somewhere in the middle of those both and it costs a 68k instead of the huge jump from 64 to 190 000 it's not justifiable as easy as that and the difference points here that I can think of is the display which is a lot higher resolution on the Mac the keyboard is not an issue the trackpad is really good on the Mac the build quality is a lot better on the Mac compared to these budget oriented devices which have a lot of plastics and hard plastics and the look also does not match with the brushed aluminum or brushed metal finish from the Macs to 
plasticky even though they try to make it as metal like it still doesn't look the same so that is another point of contention and also the final point of contention that i will talk about is thermal power and thermal efficiency of these devices because the m1 pro and the m1 max they are roughly around the 90 watts of peak thermal output and that's just a normal laptops case but if you're comparing the m1 max to a 3080 mobile the 3080 mobile is going from somewhere around 125 to 150 watts of thermal output and this does not include the cpu the cpu also puts out a lot of heat especially the intel range the amd is little bit better than intel but is not as good as the 40 watt from the m1 so the comparison that you have to do here is are you going to sacrifice battery life or wait because that's a simple teeter that all the manufacturers have to balance on because if you want to increase battery life you have to increase the size of the battery which means reducing the size of your cooling or going for a more efficient less powerful chip or going for a more powerful chip and clocking it down and artificially limiting it to conform to the cooling performance that you can integrate or you can go for a big cooler and maximum performance and maximum cooling and the smaller battery is just there just so you can unplug it from one desk take it half an hour away and replug it and sit and work all this plugged in the Macs don't have to do that they have excellent battery life they have good cooling especially even being so thin they have good cooling so i think there has to be some sort of kudos that has to be given to apple and they need to be recognized for what they have achieved here in terms of the complete package that they are trying to provide even though sometimes the price isn't justifiable but at the top end with the m1 max and the g76 raider or the alienware m15 r6 or something all those are in the price bracket that it doesn't matter that they are paying that much as long as they get to save time that's what the professionals and the people who actually work on this full time actually care about is the amount of time that it, they save for themselves and that pays away more for them in the long term than just the cost of the laptop so this is a great improvement that i've seen in the apple lineup where the gpu is not really underpowered and really can stand up with the big boys and fight against the big boys and i'm really excited for the newer generation that is going to come for the m1 pro and the desktop counterpart with the m1 chip because i have seen the b die the c die the c4 the c8 and it's a lot of interesting stuff that is going on over there and i can't wait to see all of that but yeah i just wanted to talk about these performance metrics and put them to scale from what a consumer has achieved and used regularly to the top tier where performance is what matters rather than cost so it's a good spread of the m1 lineup right now that can cater to everybody's needs but not perfectly some cases you might be better off with a windows machine especially if you have a lot more windows programs that you use exclusively i cannot switch over to mac os alternative so there you have to stick to windows and otherwise you have to go for a workstation because if you get a used dedicated graphics card you can overclock it change the cooling and do all of that stuff going on a tangent so let's just end this video here i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the rating information about all of the performance metrics and wherever your device falls on this ramp you can easily scale up and think of how much more performance that is there if you like this video give this video a like subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon over there it has to ting ting and you'll receive notifications all of my future videos comment down below if i missed anything or if you want to talk about some competition or this versus that and let's continue on over there and as always follow me on my social media channels i put out great stuff and as always stay home stay safe i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace